Technobuck, South Africa's first retail unboxings. Hey, what's up guys? Jason here for Technobuck Unboxings. And today I'm going to be giving you a quick look at Sony's Smartwatch 3. I'll send this device. It comes really nicely packaged in the box here. It's kind of a Perspex style case with the watch on a holder. And uh, within the package itself, you also get... Um, kind of a little quick start guide instructional manual with a whole host of languages but throwing that aside let's rather get into the exciting stuff and take a look at the device itself when you take the watch um, box off you get this little mount holder here and of course your screen protector guard in the box itself um, the first thing you notice which is rather nice the watch uses a kind of a deployment clasp which is done in a brushed silver and you unclip that really really nicely put together you get a whole host of straps available for this watch uh, the one that comes on it uh, is this rubber one which is really nice especially considering the fact that the actual watch is ip68 certified and with the ip68 rating much like the sony xperia smartphones it allows you to go into water of up to a meter for 30 minutes and it just gives it that uh, extra ability to do sports with the device uh, if you do happen to fall into a pool or any water you haven't got any worry so it's just a really really great touch to have on a smart device um, what's quite nice as you can see by the display at the moment when it's on standby mode it's kind of goes into an ambient light mode which just keeps it illuminated still allows you to see your notifications your time all the important stuff without draining through the battery now the device itself is powered by a quad-core ARM A7 1.2 GHz processor with 512 megs of RAM, 4 gigs of uh, onboard eMMC memory. It obviously features a built-in microphone so you can use it for voice controls as well as a on-off wake-up key. It's got a built-in gyroscope and what makes this really impressive apart from and stand out from a lot of the other Android Wear devices is that it has a built-in GPS chip so you can literally use this as your GPS running tool and even use it standalone from your cell phone so simply take the watch out for a run as opposed to having to take the phone as you do with many other conventional Android Wear devices as you've probably seen in my previous videos I also own this it's the Moto 360 another form of Android Wear uh, very very similar usability, slightly different form factor here being that this is of course a round design on the Moto versus the square um, watch face with the Sony but uh, the big up with the Sony here is of course its built in GPS chip and the fact that this rubber band and its IP68 certification makes it extremely durable. Getting into the device, you press this little button on the side here to illuminate the display of course being Android Wear it's got a lot of the same functionality there's for example your steps for the day you can press on the middle and it'll take you into your main launcher menu where you've got your access to all your apps including Find My Phone, Google Fit, um, a flashlight app of course you can put on anything uh, Google Keep, Maps which is quite nice I've navigated with it very very clear and precise uh, music a whole host of things um, you can of course run the latest Android Wear version on it and also use it in Wi-Fi mode if you don't have your phone with you but you want to use the watch features. It's got um, a whole host of faces available. Of course you can change your font size and your brightness and all kinds of things. Um, but let's say, okay, let's adjust for example there, brightness is on auto. We put it on to 5 so you get a bit better view of it. Uh, holding in the display will get you to your available watch faces. Of course being this a square display they are more suited to the sort of square watch faces which differ from some of the others. There's a kind of a rounded uh, style display but of course it's still kind of more suited. Um, the default one that Sony uses is very very nice. Uh, it's a very attractive watch face. There's also a few other cool ones that I've noticed along the way here. Of course you can have an image and this one is rather cool as well which is a kind of a combination of your circular and square display in one. Um, other features sliding down gets you to your quick notification shade which tells you the battery percentage, alarm notifications, you can put it into theatre mode if you go and watch a movie and you want to make sure it doesn't uh, annoyingly light up and uh, 
cause a distraction when you don't want that happening. You slide to the side, of course, will take you back or up to back, get back to your main screen. Um, so yeah, it's just a quick look at Sony's Smartwatch 3. Charging the device here, a bit different also to the video I did of the Moto, which charges on a dock. This one, um, a little bit more practical actually. It's got a very practical approach to um, Android Wear watches this. You just simply open this uh, rubberized protective port, which keeps it waterproof, and you can plug in a micro USB cable. So same uh, charge you use with your phone, simply adapts for this. Um, which makes it quite nice for traveling because you don't have to travel with a special um, NFC based charger. So overall, yeah, it's a quick look at Sony Smartwatch 3. Very, very nice device. Um, I, I really like the build quality and the feel of using it. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and like the video. And yeah, there will be another review coming shortly. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobuck.